Hello and welcome to my video today. I'm going to be covering waterproofing the VSP or vehicle speaker for pedestrians. It's basically a box that has a speaker in it that has the sound when you're driving below 25 miles an hour. You'll hear that humming sound or UFO sound. And also with the 2.2 update, you'll be getting the lock and unlock sounds through that speaker as well. In a previous video, I showed how to access this area. It is right in front of the right front wheel there. And in that video, you'll see how I removed that wheel, accessed the wheel well, and I waterproofed those connectors in that area. So follow that video. It'll also show you how to apply the silicone tape and the wire loom wrap to secure those connections. I have a local owner, Steven, bringing his ocean over today and I'll be looking at that area. I'll be weatherproofing his VSP along with checking out the connectors in that area. So without further ado, let's get started. We have the windshield washer fluid tank up here. We have the pedestrian speaker down here. I am going to eventually wrap all of these connectors, but for the time being, I am going to just move them out of the way so I can access this box. There's several bolts holding it in place, and I am going to do that next. Any connectors that sometimes fail, I usually just tie them back in since it's not. Most of these plastic ones here, these are the fir tree ones, usually pop out and um, those usually go back into place, no problem. So these two are 10 millimeter bolts. All right, so I've loosened four and removed four bolts. I'm gonna take a look at the speaker. There's a connector in the lower corner here. Due to the shape of the bracket, you can't just pull this out straight. So I'm gonna try to bend this around to see if I can access it. Better. Uh, I think there's actually two bolts back here for this bracket. So I removed the bolts that are on the back of the bracket. This should be much more accessible now. I'm still not sure if this will pull all the way out because there is 
connected back here. Oh my gosh. All right, there is one cable that is back here that is attached to the wall in this position right there. So we had to pry that off so that we have access to that cable. So now the box should have more freedom of movement and then we can get to those two connectors. So this is what the connector looks like, and I don't see any issues. It is dry. I'll try to get a good look at the other side. All right, so I'm now gonna put the connector back in and then wrap it all in the silicone tape. All right, so now this connector is waterproofed. I can take the box and reattach the four bolts back together and put it back into place. I have my first case of water intrusion in the connectors and it is pretty obvious. It's dry right now, but there's a lot of buildup and, and now I'm gonna take some isopropyl alcohol and some cleaning sticks to try to get all that gunk out of there and then we'll connect these back up. All right, I finished up the waterproofing of the VSP on Stevens Ocean. Unfortunately, we had problems with the connectors, uh, especially the gray connector had water in it. As you saw previously, uh, the pins were rusted out and he's gonna need a replacement connector or direct wiring in that area. And he's gonna have Brandon from Platinum Precision, he's going to be in our area in the next couple weeks and he's going to repair it for him. Otherwise, the VSP has been waterproof, so that will not be an issue on his car anymore. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.